high clouds out there this evening, but the truth is it's a really nice evening. You do need a jacket if you're going out. Here is a look at what's happening. That cold front is well offshore, high pressure building in. The wind is dying down, and you know, it's pretty. We do have some high clouds right along the coast. Look like there were a few sprinkles, but I think that's evaporating before it hits the ground. The air is really dry. So some often on clouds this evening, but otherwise just a cool and nice evening to get out and go for a walk. Here is a look at what's happening tomorrow. That high pressure moves to the east. We'll have mostly sunny skies. Notice how that southerly flow is really increasing in Texas. That's where you're going to have a high chance of rain. Our temperatures in the mid to the upper 60s. Then as we go into Saturday, rain chances begin to go up. I know we've got some weddings, but wait, look at this. Nine o'clock in the morning. We're still looking okay over southeast Louisiana and south Mississippi. Here we are going into the evening with a higher rain chance to the north, but I'm telling you as you go into Sunday, rain chances going up. It's looking like it's going to be wet for the Saints game. So for tailgating, keep that in mind. You're going to need your rain gear. And then as you go into the week, look at what's happening. This is Monday, that area of low pressure offshore. We've got a southerly flow, high chance of rain. And I'm expecting that your temperatures are going to be warming up too. Then as we go into Tuesday, the weather looks okay. Going into your Wednesday, another cold front is approaching, moving through early Thursday. And you know what? That wind is going to blow. High pressure builds in for your Friday. It's going to be colder. It's going to be sun sunny. And it looks like it's going to be really nice. So that's next Friday. For the month of November, now done. Of course, we didn't have any rain today, but we had 6,500 yesterday. So at this point, we're about an inch and three quarters below average for the month. But you look at what's happening, and the drought monitor came out. Moderate drought south shore, severe drought north shore, extreme drought over towards Mobile. So what's the deal? Well, we just had dry weather for so long, but with our rain chance is going up over the weekend and the first of the week, that should help us out a little bit. High temperature today, 62. The average is 68 degrees. And we can look at our highs about the area. Lakefront 60, Slidell 66, over towards Mandeville 66 degrees. A good bit cooler than we were yesterday at this time because of the cooler air moving in from the cold front that moved through. 9 o'clock, upper 40s to the mid 50s, so you definitely need a jacket going out this evening. Now it's going to be chilly again in the morning. I don't think quite as cold as it was this morning, but certainly upper 30s north shore, south shore. We're in the mid to the upper 40s. And then tomorrow's high temperatures climbing into the mid to the upper 60s. Lots going on Friday night football. It's going to be chilly. You definitely need a jacket for the north shore and the south shore. And then for the Saints game, Saints win, but you're going to need that jacket. So we're looking at the 2016 hurricane season. It is done. 15 storms, seven hurricanes, three intense. And you can see we obviously had high pressure to the east, and you can see how a lot of these storms did, in fact, curve. It was Alex to Otto, one of the longest seasons, January 12th through November 24th. Of course, hurricanes more likely to occur June 1st through November 30th. Colin was the earliest third storm. There were no July storms, and Otto was the first Atlantic storm to keep its name as it moved into the Pacific. Five fish storms storms, five U.S. storms, and then one hit the Azores, two Mexico and Belize, one Bermuda, and one Nicaragua. That was Otto, which was the latest landfalling hurricane. A lot to get out. So we'll look at tomorrow. We've got a few clouds, mid-60s for your highs. Rain chances going up Saturday, but especially for Sunday and Monday. And the big news is we've got a strong cold front that's moving through Thursday. The wind is going to blow. Cooler weather as you go into your Friday.